Hello everyone, I'm here with the instructions for the Generate Concepts section of 126 Charmed, I'm Sure. So the first step in this is step 7. So what you need to do is brainstorm and quickly develop three ideas to represent who you are designing for. I want you to keep in mind that your time is going to be money. And what that means is when it comes to cost calculations, the time you spent on the design of the charm cost the company money. So I want you to keep your design simple. Uh, they should be meaningful, but you don't have to keep it complex. All right. This means forms, text, symbols, things like that is fine, but don't keep it too complex. After you've brainstormed those three concept sketches, you also need to make brief notes about them as well. Um, just something to quickly describe what it is. After that, you need to meet with someone at your table partner and have them review your designs. Have them give you feedback to improve or give you their thoughts on which might be the best to go with. Once you have done that, you're going to take a picture of all three concept sketches with your notes and partner feedback and put it in the submission document. That is going to go right here on step eight. As an example, I have this one that's been done. As you can see here, three different concept sketches, pretty simple, fast done, that's fine, notes about it, feedback from the partner. So that looks good. After that, you're going to come to step nine. You're gonna get isometric paper and create an isometric sketch with overall dimensions. So the purpose of this is to lay out your design with detail to get approval. And you're going to also insert that into the submission document here in step nine, insert isometric sketch. So let's look at this example. Step nine, we can see an isometric sketch. We have some notes. We have dimensions on the notes so that I know roughly overall how large you plan on this being. Okay. Next, you're going to roughly estimate the volume of design, showing your work properly documented, inserting images of calculations. So in order to do this, you're going to need to do a little math, and you're going to need to know your dimensions. If you go back to the assignment instructions, let's take a quick look at properly documented math. Properly documented math includes a label for what you're calculating, the formula, numerical substitutions, and your answers with units. For example, the range is what we're calculating. The range is the maximum minus the minimum. There's our numerical substitution. There's our answers with units. Let's take a look at how that's going to apply to the volume formula. And you can see this with a volume formula in example. So, volume is equal to the width times the depth times the height. So here's our example. We have an, a sketch, we have our measurements, we have our width of six, our depth of two inches, our height of four, width times depth times height, six times two times four. Our answer with units, 48 cubic inches. Yours, of course, is gonna vary, but this has to be a pretty rough calculation. This doesn't have to be exact. Um, this is just to know that you're on the right track for design. So in step 10 of the submission document, you're going to insert the image of your calculations right here. Let's look at our exemplar. You can see that we have it labeled. We have the formula. We have the numerical substitution. And then we have our answers with our units. So that looks good. After this, I'd like you to show your sketch with your partner. Once again, y'all just kind of discuss it, make sure that everything is on the right track. Um, once they have, your partner has approved that you've done everything you're supposed to, get them to review and sign your sketch documenting their approval. And I'd like you in step 13 to insert proof of your partner sign off into the submission document. So let's take a look here, step 13 we can see partner sign off right there. 
group member sign off. And that is enough to get a perfect score on this. And let's look at the rubric just real quick to see the parts that you're being assessed on. So generate concepts, you're brainstorming, you have three, di three ideas, sketches, and notes. Selecting the most appropriate based on the client wishes with sign off. This just basically means that you have proof of your partner review that they've given you feedback on which one you should go with. Your isometric sketch is complete with details and measurements from your design sketches. Looking back at this, I'll show you what we're talking about. Isometric sketch with details and measurements. Excellent line quality with straight lines that follow the grid paper and are the correct line weight. That means that object lines show as object lines. Construction lines are lighter. So let's look at this one a little bit lighter on the construction lines. You can see heavy object lines around here. We have a rough volume calculation included with the work shown, as well as partner given final approval of the design. So once again, volume calculation, all the work shown and properly documented, partner approval of design. And that will get you a perfect score on the generate concept section of 1.2.6.